Coach Max Edison, Houston Defender. Is this finally the total game that you've been looking for offensively and defensively from the beginning of the game till the end? No. <laughs> no. It was a total game until about halftime, and then, uh, then halftime happened, and we came out. We didn't have a lot of the, the juice we should have had. But, you know, it's uh, – you know, I think we were ready to roll, obviously, from the get-go. Um, they they come off a tough, you know, series, so we had to take advantage of it. And they had some dead legs, and we came out and did what we were supposed to do. And then, you know, it's like everything else. You have so much emotion, and you get into the game, and then you're up 27 or up 24, and you kind of let down, and it's hard to get it back. And uh, I'll give them credit. They kept, they kept fighting, um, and we did what we were supposed to do. I mean, obviously, we're all happy, but we can do better. Mike, Mark Berman from Fox, Houston. Um, you've had some slow starts in the previous series. What were some keys to the getting off to a great start today? Uh, it was just James came out, and James and Chris both were just on fire, and P.J. Tucker didn't miss anything. So, you know, again, you guys will probably be right, you know, why didn't they play in the third quarter? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's going to happen sooner or later. Um, and we just got to know that Wednesday's going to be pivotal, and we got to come out with the same type of intensity and keep it there for 48. We didn't didn't have it in the second half. We just, you know, and, and again, a little bit them, a little bit us, but we just need to get a little bit better. Mike, Kim Davis from Chalk Talk. Can you talk about what you would like to see? I mean, I know you were saying, you know, kind of a whole complete game, but what is it that, that this team just hasn't quite cranked up to do? Although you're winning – that you really want to see that? Well, you know, again, you know, I'm, I'm, my job is to nitpick and try to get it better where we're, we're not good. Obviously, we only scored 46 points in the second half, so that's not good. The pace probably wasn't where it should be. Defensively, we had some breakdowns. Uh, we had 15 turnovers and uh, gave them 22 points. I think at halftime it was like five turnovers. So we, we got careless, and all that came from just the sloppiness in general. Uh, but those are things that we can control, and that's what – um, makes it good is that we, we can play a lot better than this. Just Chronicle, uh, Mitchell was pretty quiet for most of the first half. It looked like Ariza was, uh, that was his main assignment there. What was the kind of individual defense that Ariza put on him that you thought was so effective? Well, uh, Trevor, and again, you're talking about one of the better players in the league, Donovan Mitchell, and you're talking about somebody that was heroic in this last series, so you got to give him a little break. I mean, it's like he's probably on fumes. But Trevor did his part. He draped him. He made him work for everything. It, uh, we we did some good switches. PJ, people were hounding him as much as we could, and uh, um, and I thought they did a terrific job. Obviously, probably the key to the whole game. We, you know, we just kept, especially in the first half, uh, with them only getting you know 39 points up. That's that's pretty good defense. Jonathan Fagan, Houston Chronicle. You went back to James about three minutes earlier than you normally yes. do. Were you feeling legitimately threatened at that point? Oh, yeah. And is that useful to you now with two off days to yes. have have that? Yeah, and that you know we talked about, it, although it doesn't didn't help a whole lot. It seems like, but we were okay tonight. Like James goes, well, at the end of the day, thirty-seven minutes, and it'd be nice if he can play about thirty-four if it's a. Only one day because we had two days, you know, we had a little leeway to go. But as you go forward, just can't mess with things. You gotta, you gotta play with the same spirit and the same type of mentality all the way through. The playoffs are not easy, and we're thinking sometimes, oh, we're in the middle of the year, and and you know we're up 20, we're okay. Well, no, we're not, and you got you can't mess with the game. So we'll get better at it. We'll get better at that. Oh, I definitely, yeah, I left James over. You sure I was. Yeah, all the way from 27 down to about 11, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was, I was sweating. Coach Stefano Fusaro, ESPN. What uh, did you get out of Luke? What do you think he did for your team uh, in this first game back, especially on the defensive end? Well, that's where he's really stellar and just his talking experience. And I expect him to get some better finishes uh, as he goes forward. It's just good to have him back because he's an integral part of what we do. We need him. And that. Let's just go small because they're going to go small a lot in this series. Uh, uh, and so he can take some minutes off everybody, and, and plus he plays well. And a lot of times when uh, we get a certain lineup, they put the center on him. So he's really good at playmaking and all that. So there's a, there's a bunch of stuff that he can get. It's, it's good to see him make the first shot. And, uh, but he'll get better as the series goes on. Tim McMahon, ESPN. Uh, the, the Jazz have established themselves as an elite defensive team, but James – this is another big game that he's had against them, and he's consistently doing that. How is he able to 
consistently get where he wants to go and do what he wants to do against a defense that good? Well, just because he's that good. Uh, you know, and I kept saying, I don't think I'm telling you anything you haven't seen in your own eyes, just what he does with these step backs. And he's seven for 12 from threes. I don't know how you guard that. I don't know how you guard him going to the rim. There's his strength, passing ability. I mean, it's just got, he's got so many ways to beat you. And then the fouls, if you tried to take some away, he's, he's, he's smart. Um, you know, he's one of the best. I don't, you know, the defense is really good. Their defense is super. But for James, it's James. And, you know, Chris, a little bit the same way. They'll, they'll get what they need. Mike, Greg Bailey from ABC Houston. Maybe a little bit more on the start. When you say, you know, James comes out and does James things, what, what's happening when, when James and Chris are both on like that, not only making shots, but then making correct and great decisions with the basketball to get their teammates involved? We're really hard to beat, if not, uh, you know, I don't want to say unbeatable, obviously, but we're playing defense the way we're playing. Those two guys were stellar on offense. And then, you know, I think P.J. made uh, three threes in a row and different people were hitting threes. So we just have a nice balance and we got two of the best point guards in in the world. And, uh, you know, and then when James went out, Chris took over and James came back in and Chris went out, you know, so it's – it's a nice luxury that I that we have as a, as a team to have both those guys. Glenn Hill with the uh, Houston Chronicle. Uh, you mentioned uh, maybe the team playing on tired, the Jazz playing on tired legs. How much do you maybe attribute some of their struggles to that? You know, I, I don't know. I'm hoping none, but I, I imagine it would be. You know, I, they're uh, they're a really good team, and uh, when you you know, I've been in that situation. You come off a quick back to not back to back, but almost. But a tough series like that, emotion, it's more emotions than physical because there are, you, you play that level that they played to knock off uh, OKC, it's, it's tough. Uh, so we expected a whole different team on Wednesday and we better be ready.